It's nighttime with Andy Bumatai. Tonight, my favorite bookie maker, Wally Amos. The band with the plan, Capenna. And Eileen Hines, risk management specialist. Plus Richard Knopf in the nighttime Philharmonic. And now, almost live from the Alberta Main Showroom on the beach in Waikiki. This is Andy Bumatai. And thank you for tuning in to Nighttime. And uh, I apologize, folks, but I'm feeling kind of sad tonight. What's the matter, man? Ah, I just read that, uh, you know, I was thinking about the, how the United States Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. right, they had to recall 143 million pounds of frozen beef. Oh, no. Oh, it's so sad because you know, evidently there's some slaughterhouse in California that's uh -huh. mistreating cattle. That's not good. Oh, it breaks my heart because yeah. I think it's terrible to mistreat cattle, you know, before you bash their heads in and <laughs> grind them into hamburger. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, don't you think that's an awful thing? That is, man. I, mean, I just, I got, not really, I mean, I'm joking about it, but it, I feel sad for the cows. Mm -hmm, me too. Right, gosh. because, you know, the only reason we're eating so many of them because they're so stupid. <laughs> they're kind of dumb, no, aren't they? No, they are. They're, they're terrible, you know? Because, I mean, I'm thinking about it. I mean, I understand badger, for instance, is mm -hmm. good eating. Oh, yes. But you can't get anybody to work at a badger ranch. <laughs> and, if you, and if you've ever tried to brand one of them little suckers, <laughs> let me tell you. Ooh, like, oh, man. Man. Hold on there. We're going to hit you with the lazy L. <laughs> 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 you know, to, because badgers have developed a natural defense against man cows. That's right. Come on. They were <laughs> sitting around going, you know, they keep eating us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do about it? I got an idea. Let's multiply faster and get fatter. All right, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, it's crazy. Man, that is nuts, man. And, you know, and, and all these people, you know, that, that they're eating cows, right? Not mm -hmm. only do they eat them, but they humiliate them at rodeo. Oh, oh man. They, they rope them, they chase them. Even those, those uh, riding bulls, you know, they have to perform with their testicles tied up into a Boy Scout knot. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, how, how humiliating is that? That'll make you jump. I mean, I don't care what you, if you did that to me, you couldn't stay on my back for eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Poor cows, I don't know what to do about it, you know Man. what I'm saying? And, and, too, and it's funny, too, because people, you think about a cow, right? Mm -hmm. And then these macho biker guys, they want to act all bad. They wear jackets made of cow. <sighs> I'm saying, buddy, you want to act like a macho guy, get a jacket made of mongoose. <laughs> cow? Well, you know, what do you do? You got a cow jacket? Did you go to the dairy and shoot that yourself? <laughs> it's a cow, for God's sake. You know what I mean? I mean, if cows were macho, I mean, you've never seen, for instance, like one of those, those great hunters, you know, with a dairy cow on his head. <laughs> No, on his wall, guy blew it. A dairy cow head on his wall. <laughs> it still worked for Thank me, man. Thank you so That's much. Funny. I just, no, That's I just, funny. you know, I mean, imagine that if you saw that. You know, you look at the buffalo and the lion and then, you know, what do you do? You walk in, you go, gee, is that Lonnie Moon? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a pretty good show for you, though. We've got Wally Amos talk about a new store in the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. Carl Penna is going to be here, and Eileen Hines about keeping yourself safe. I'll explain it later. So check this out, Taco Bell's got this dollar value menu and it's totally awesome. Between classes, I grab a soft taco and a bean burrito for only a dollar each and I'm good to go. Chilling with my lady, got all our favorites for just a dollar each. We're feeling the love. Me and my boys on a late night cruise. Oh yeah, pretty much ordered the whole menu. Taco Bell's dollar value menu, it's wicked cool. 
Honolulu Weekly, Hawaii's award-winning news weekly reporting on topics others won't touch. Hot picks on new restaurants, the changing club scene, original film reviews, edgy political humor, probing editorials, and must-see happenings every week. Not your everyday paper, we cover events outside the mainstream before they become mainstream. Available island-wide at Starbucks and 500 other locations. Honolulu Weekly, smart alternative.